Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Terraria. Uh, unfortunately, I was recording earlier today and there's some construction going on next door and they must have hit a power line or something because my building lost power for about an hour. Uh, and I was in the middle of recording during that and so I <laughs> my computer died and I lost all of that recorded footage. Uh, I didn't record too much, you didn't miss out too much, obviously we still have the same amount of life and stuff. Um, I got a new weapon which I then upgraded to the or swapped over, rather, to the 10 shurikens. Now we have infinite shurikens, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've explored a little bit to the right of our world, found the jungle, uh, tried to explore the underground jungle a bit, and died horribly because we have no health or armor or anything, really. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to do was sort of explore to the left and go beyond this desert, since on the right-hand side here is the underground desert. If we go over to the left, it's probably going to be our snow biome, because the jungle's over to the right here. And the snow biome and the and, um, whatchamacallit, the dungeon are always on the opposite side of the jungle. So, there you go. Alright, and I also realized when I was editing the video, yesterday's video, that, uh, the reason why the merchant moved in, when I thought all the, the houses were filled, is because I put a torch down in this living wood tree, and even though this is a naturally generated structure, just throwing a light in there made it suitable for housing, because there's chairs and tables in here, so... I've moved the merchant back to our spawn point down here, our sad little hut, and I actually picked up a mount off of him too. Let's see here. We bought a scooter for five gold. It's not amazing, but it's faster than walking. So yeah, it's pretty much the short of it. Uh, if there's something I forgot, uh, go ahead and just let me know down in the comments below and I'll <laughs> explain it in the next video. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the left of our world and see what we can find. Oh yeah, and here's the, the scooter, by the way. It just kind of zips along. It's pretty fast. I like it. It seems about the same speed. Actually, a little bit faster than the Hermes boots. But you can't you can't double jump on it, and the regular jump height is reduced as well. But it's, it's cool looking. I like it. So we're going to use it until we get a better mount, or some wings or something, or a double jump potion, like, or not a potion, but a double jump, um, like a like a bottle, the cloud in a bottle type stuff. Alright, so now we're starting to get into new territory. Uh, there's just a very small desert biome right there. Uh, hello there, Wolfram Drone. <clears throat> I really like these shurikens, they're pretty good. They do about the same damage as the spears, but they go much faster, and of course they can hit more enemies. Which is pretty nice. I'm gonna go and just grab all the sled ore that I can. Alright, and let's continue exploring. Is there a chest under here? No chests! We haven't been finding, like, any surface chests. This world has just been kinda... I don't know, kinda boring so far. I may have to make, like, a, a semi-elevator early on, just to try and find some caverns or something. Oh, hello there, uh... Big ol' golem. Earthrot Golem. Get over here. Fall down here. I want to kill you. Oh, this range on these things are so short, but they fire so fast. It's really good. Nice. You just drop dirt blocks? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Ugh. Gotta be careful, because we're still just in wood armor. Although our damage is pretty, pretty good for this stage in the game, I think. Just being able to spam all these shurikens is really nice. Is there anything down here? Oh, here we go. I think now we're going to be in some lo- Oh, no. Ah, uh, oh, World, please, just give me something to work with here. Come on. I don't know why... I've never had a world like this without, like, any decent caverns near the sp uh, spawn area. Maybe if we can find the, um, the... Snow biome. What the heck? Top hat squirrel. I thought those were just regular critters, but apparently those have a lot of health. So if we could drop a top hat or something, but apparently not. They seem to be relatively common, though. Alright, here's the frost biome, finally. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump over this. Let's see, is there anything going on here? There's some pots we can break. Still no chest, though. Alright, so we're back at base. I've got a bunch of bars here, and I've already upgraded them to the better variant. So we have the, the secondary orb bars. So we have 
lead, tin, tungsten, and more lead apparently. I don't know why those didn't stack. We go ahead and make another mana crystal. A couple more mana crystals. There we go. Alright, what can I make here? Money tr oh yeah, um I'm gonna make a slime staff. We have these pre-boss loot tokens, which are really cool, because if you get 25 of them, of and it's not just these tokens, it's, there's a bunch of different tokens from MK Sushi's mod. Uh, that basically if you get either like 10, 15, 25, or 40, basically, depending on how good the item is. There's like pre-boss loot tokens, post-boss loot tokens, hard mode loot tokens, uh, dungeon loot tokens, etc. That if you get enough of them, uh, they just drop randomly off of their respective enemies. Uh, you can trade it in for sort of rare drops. So like if we were doing summoning, right, we'd probably pick up a slime staff or something. Uh, I may... Just grab a money trough, or trough, excuse me. Although I'm not sure, because there is an item we can get that will automatically put all of our money in a in the piggy bank as soon as we get it. But I'll, eh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and scoop that up. It's a good item to have. I'll go ahead and throw that on my hotbar. And this, this can't be used in anything, I don't think. It doesn't say it's a material, so... Apparently if we have a Dribbler banner and a Solidifier, we can craft it. That's cool. As well as a piggy bank, some gold coins, and some feathers. Alright. Oh, we got our money trow now. Our trough. I always do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need a pickaxe, preferably. Alright, I just needed wood in my inventory. So now we can make the equipment. Agile pickaxe, I'll take it. That means it's a little bit faster, right? Yeah, 11% speed. That's one of the best prefixes you can get. I think light is the best pickaxe prefix, but I'll take that. I won't worry about the, uh, the axe or the hammer just yet, because we don't use those as much, but I definitely need the pickaxe. Uh, and I guess I can make some armor, too. So is any of this throwing damage? Yes, the Wolfram set is throwing damage. Well, it can be throwing damage. Do I have enough to make it? I have 55 shards. Okay, I definitely have enough. Wow, that's a little bit awkward. We just wasted a bunch of materials. So, I'll go ahead and just make the Wolfram set for throwing. Is the throwing damage mask? Yeah, Wolfram mask. And then we'll wrap it up with the, uh, the leggings. It's less defense, but it does give us the set bonus. Which is... Plus 3 defense and plus 5 defense when below 50% life. Now I wonder, does that make the 3 defense go up to 5, or does it give us a total of 8 defense? I'd assume it'd be a plus total of 8 defense. Yeah, now we have more movement speed, more crit chance, and more throwing damage. Although, the throwing damage doesn't really matter, because it's 3%, and our we do 9 damage, so it doesn't even like increase by whole damage. But, you know what? I'm, I'm happy with this. <laughs> Oh, hello there, little wolf from drone. I have armor made out of you. How does that make you feel? <laughs> it's a nice little source of early game stuff. Because so many mods focus on, like, middle and late game things, like post-hard mode. It's nice to have things that focus on, you know, like, post-wood <laughs> items. <laughs> and there's the trap we triggered earlier. And then, where did, we, where did we get to last time? We got to down here, and then we went left and found that dead end. So we're going to go right when we get down to there. Gotta wait for a chance to drop. Looks good. Yeah, shurikens are like really good. They don't have any knockback, but you, they do a lot of damage and they can pierce a lot. So if there's a swarm of enemies, it's really good. Okay, let's go to the left here. I'm gonna keep grabbing all the the oops, all the lead that I find because it is still useful and we can make lead shurikens and stuff too. That it would be better than these tin ones. Although now that I've found silver, I would like to mine the silver that is in this world, and then come on, just hit the, hit the slime. There you go. And then turn it into tungsten and then make shurikens out of it, because I think they do like 13 damage or something. Ooh, is this more emerald? Yeah, it is. Hell yes. Alright, how many emeralds does that give us? We have four now? I think we have three. Actually, no, I think we only have two back in our base, so we need one more. And then three diamond, of course, which is going to be a pain. Uh, and then we can get the storage heart made, which is... Sort of the, the main piece you need for magic storage. Uh, 
It's what allows you to actually, like, use the thing. <laughs> so. It'll be very, very nice. Okay. Anything over here? Of course not. Let's go ahead and throw a torch down, though. <laughs> Brought a bunch of wood with me, so if I get enough slime, I may be able to make enough, uh... Torches to get up to unlimited. Oh, there's some a uh, single piece of amethyst. I think that is. Yeah. All right. Like this is a sort of a big empty cavern, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some rope here. I should try using the the net that I bought uh, on one of those top hat squirrels that I've seen. Can I put this down somewhere? There we go. Now we're getting to the part of the cavern that has no background layer, so you can't just place things anywhere. This is still not mineable. Okay. Bunch of topaz here. Thank you. You can see these little bats light things up around them, so I can see there's a cavern right here, and another one down here. So there's certainly plenty for us to explore. Go and just kill some of these enemies, because those... I don't want to I don't want to jump down there with all those enemies there, because I'll break the ice, and I don't want to be stuck in the water with all those enemies on top of me. I think... well, no, there's still that tiny viking down there, which... is deceptive. <laughs> okay, whatever, I'm going. Ugh! Mistakes. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, why is he so fast? Ugh. No! No! Ugh. Ugh. What? Couldn't put the fire out? I was in water! What the hell? How does that work? I thought if you were on fire and you had and you jumped in water, it put you out. Oh, oh well, that's fine. <laughs> I'm very surprised we have not found any life crystals yet. That's the main thing that I'm trying to find right now because I want more health before I go and fight bosses, of course. Uh, what can I make? I can make tungsten shurikens. I don't have enough ore though to make unlimited of them, so I'm not going to bother. A glow spear? It's two glow sticks on a stick. Alright. Well, I think... I'm gonna do some grinding off screen real quick and get those torches. Those unlimited torches. Ooh! That's a golden rabbit. Let me capture that first so I can sell it. Do I have space? Yeah, I have space. Oop, give me that. Gold bunny. I think these are worth like five gold? Five or ten? I can go to the merchant and find out. I don't really care to collect them, so... Uh, ten gold. Yeah, it's easy money. And I'll throw it in my piggy bank right now so I don't lose it. Like, I just lost that other money. Alright, we're up to eleven gold now, which is pretty nice. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you once I have unlimited torches. Actually, hold on, I can probably just buy them here, can't I? I see, like, a hundred more. hundred and thirty more. Three, four, boop. All right, what do I need to actually make this? Uh, no, don't put it in the auto trash. I always do that because these slots like line up perfectly when you have another inventory open. Uh, let's see. I just need a workbench. Okay, cool. So you guys can kind of see how this works. Let's go ahead and hop up here, and then it'll probably be at the bottom here somewhere. Unlimited torches. Yeah, here we go. Go ahead and scoop that up, and now we can place down unlimited torches forever and ever, etc. And again, this is the same thing that I was talking about before. Technically, we can place torches down and then pick them up, and just get unlimited torches like that. But what I'm actually going to do is, since they are a different item, they're just the base torches, I'm just going to put them in the auto trash. Because since we have unlimited torches, if we knock any more down, we don't need to keep them in our inventory, because we can just make more. I was talking about with the bean-shaped rooms and the the sword and the stone. Well, I just found one. I have only found like two of these ever, I think, not including this one. Uh, but I have not found an Arcalis. Are you gonna be nice to me? Oh, nope. Old nail. Okay, that's fine. 
<laughs> oh man. Alright, uh, what can I get rid of here? That. It's like a, it's a poor man's Arcala. It's like the animation though. It's really cute. I can upgrade this later though. Anyways, back to regularly scheduled programming. Ooh, slime staff, hello there. Ooh, and a diamond crawler. Hell yeah. Alright, I just need to not die here. Oh my god. What's gonna happen? Yep. Oh! All I need are diamonds, too. Why? Oh my god. Well, at least I got a slime staff. That's cool, I guess. Although I think... You know, I've, I actually think I may not do throne only. I may prioritize throne weapons. But I mean... I don't know, I kind of want to use summons too. Because... Let me see if I can find the item. Go ahead and throw that there. I found... This. Larkus' Toma. It's from Juiced Mod. Uh, I've used this when I was live streaming Terraria before. This thing is super good. It's basically the best summon in the game. It makes everything else irrelevant. Uh, so if I were to use summons, I probably wouldn't use this, just because, I don't know, I think that would be boring to watch. Because uh, there, there's no reason to use anything except for this, because it scales with you. And it allows you to use more summons, and it's just really powerful. <laughs> uh, but I may use other summons. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Alright, anyways... Uh, Back to working towards unlimited dynamite. I'm pretty close. I'm just basically trying to get things to sell. Let's see here. Because I'm up to 141, I need nine more dynamite. I can sell you, you, uh, you. Sure, every everything can go. I don't I don't care that much. But I want to keep the gems, of course. A little birdie. Uh, what are we sitting on right now? 72? Almost a gold total? It's not enough. It's not enough! Oh, whoa, those berries are actually worth a lot more than I thought they were. Okay, hold up. Let me let me check my chest here. Man, if only we were able to get that diamond lurker. We could get our uh, magic storage started. Alright, uh, which one do you? You're the merchant. I was just pulled these rubies out to sell them, just in case we don't have enough from the other things. But yeah, it looks like the basic die stuff is worth 20 silver each, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, these blocks have no value. That's not really surprising. Uh, so, what are we sitting on right now? About one and a half gold. Uh, let's go ahead and just sell these off. Sell off the rubies. To pick up the dynamite. Now I need 150, but I don't think I'm going to make the unlimited dynamite quite yet, because I would like to make unlimited sticky dynamite, which requires 150. Uh, oh, well, sticky dynamite. So, yeah. So we have the 150 dynamite. If I went to a workbench, I could create. Where is it? The unlimited dynamite, and it's exactly what you think it is. Uh, I need to find how much gel I have, though, and see how many of these sticks I can turn into sticky dynamite. Alright, well it took two full in-game days to make it so, but I finally farmed up enough slime to turn all my dynamite sticks into sticky dynamite. And I'm now going to turn this into... uh-oh. That's... this was not intended. Oh god. Okay, that's uh... <laughs> oh no, I saw the message but I didn't think it was going to activate. Alright, it's okay. Surprise, I have Cthulhu. It's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. I really wish I had time to set up an arena. Yeah, we, we might be okay. I'm not as geared as I usually like to be. I'm, I, I'm not the best Terraria player, so I tend to over-prepare for things. Like, I'll usually have max health before I ever fight the eye and like you know, gold armor or whatever. Gold slash platinum armor. Uh, let me go grab this health here. And I do need to take advantage of the nurse here. 
to, uh, cheese, cheese healing. Ow, ow, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> Alright, I did decide to use the, um, what's his face, the little, little slime buddy there, so he's going to be helping us on our journey. Because uh, I wasn't about to try farming a bunch of slime manually, because I did that for about five minutes, and then I decided that it takes way too long, so I just made a little, uh, little AFK bunker thing and let my little slime guy take care of enemies for me. Uh, this fight seems to be going pretty well so far, though, although we're on to phase two now. That was just the first phase that went pretty easily. But we do have the advantage of having range and mobility on our side. So... Oh, okay, well, there he goes on his little, little rage. I think we're going to be okay, though. So far, anyway. Uh, fingers crossed. I probably jinxed it now. Just gotta keep it moving. <laughs> Especially as we get him lower, he's gonna start raging more and more. I don't have no torches over here. Let's go and throw some of these down so you can see where we're going. I'm not running into zombies like that. Uh, uh. Alright, trying to press all the buttons. <laughs> Just keep it moving. Keep it moving. I thought I could sneak underneath him there, but apparently not. Oh, okay, now I'm confused. Oh no. Not like this. There we go. That little mushroom guy confused me when I ran into him. Alright, next time we pass over the nurse, I'm going to try to get some healing from her. Well, actually, no, I think... No, we just got to keep moving. Don't want to sit still. We'll be able to use a potion and... 15 seconds. I don't know if I can stop running into things. Alright, now he's just doing it all the time. So we just have to rely on luck basically of our spheres hitting him. Although I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Woo! Okay. <laughs> what the heck is that? Teardrop Cleaver. And Torn Note number one. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm surprised we did- well, not too surprised that we did that, but uh... I'm glad that we did. Alright, what is this? A sword? It had like a special lore note on it. Make your enemies cry. Alright, I'll pick up everything in just a second, I just need to clear up my inventory. Oh, and we got a Shadow Diamond, too. Every time you defeat a boss for the first time, you get a Shadow Diamond, which is pretty nice. Does the, uh, I'll read that in a second. Let me just uh, drop stuff off real quick. Anything I want to hold on to? I'll go ahead and hold on to that. Go ahead and deposit everything that I can. Alright. And I haven't forgotten about the dynamite. We'll do it. I just want to get this loot first. I think we also got, yeah, we got his, uh, trophy, too. That's really nice. Got on the first kill. Let's go hang this up in our slightly upgraded NPC housing area. Let's go and put it in that middle room there. There we go. Alright, so torn note number one. Some legends say that thing called Otherworldly Amulet could be gotten from Guardi Dungeon Guardian. There's something else, but you couldn't read this. Not without other parts. Maybe the jeweler could help you. Is that this thing? No, that's the family heirloom. I don't know what the, uh... Otherworldly amulet is. Then the death of the Eye of Cthulhu. Must have been some poor monstrosity shunned by those more powerful than it. Or perhaps it is just one of many that lurk in the night. Very interesting. And then... Oh, the death of the Eye of Cthulhu and then uh, the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay. That eye, how peculiar. I sensed it watching you more intensely as you grew stronger. Yeah, and it, we just got to 200 life and so it rolled a successful chance to uh, spawn, which is pretty cool. Alright, treasure bag, what have you got for me? We've got the shield, of course. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw that on, replace the magnifying glass. Uh, cause does, does this give armor by itself? It gives two defense, yeah. Plus the active is really useful. We've got the mask, demonite ore, some seeds, and unholy arrows. Alright, unfortunately we need one more shadow diamond, I believe, because I believe they count as one uh, one diamond, yeah, they don't 
count separately. So we will have to find one more diamond or defeat one more boss for the first time in order to get another shadow diamond so we can make the storage heart. Oh, I can't wait. Then I can clear out all these chests. Oh, we got a um, knife crystal. Alright, I didn't realize bosses did that. Alright, let's go get that dynamite taken care of. Uh, I think we can just do it at a workbench here. Uh, yep, unlimited sticky dynamite. Hell yeah. Let's go and throw that up here. Alright, this isn't as far as I wanted to go, but this is as good a place as any <laughs> to test it out. Uh, let's see. Throw that down there. Oh, this might not even be far enough, honestly. Dynamite's really big. Yeah, look at that. It's so much bigger than the bombs. I could have gone for unlimited bombs. They're much cheaper, but... Come on, gotta go big or go home, right? And it's like bombs, but better. And I, def I wanted to use the sticky variant because if I'm going to be using explosives to mine, I want to make sure they don't bounce back at me or anything. <laughs> that they'll stick where they go. Uh-oh. Let's just go here. Nope. Okay, this would be fine. Nice. Oh, look at that. We even uncovered a chest. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for an episode today. We actually made quite a lot of progress. Uh, a lot of it was off-stream. Or off-stream. <laughs> Old habits. Off-camera. Uh, I have probably about five hours of footage recorded, but, you know, you're only going to be seeing probably 20 minutes of that or so. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did down below, and uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I do appreciate it, and I do read all feedback. So anyways, with all that being said, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, you thought I was going to leave without opening the chest, didn't you? <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. I will take all this, pop the chest. Alright, but for reals though. <laughs> Peace out, guys.